I found myself at this larger festival today. Um, actually, there was a few companies out there. Um, and here's me just taking down a little bit of furniture. I happen to be alone in the morning. Uh, but afterwards, we went to a different site and I had some help there. And uh, yeah, uh, stand by for today's uh, video. Today we're beginning the takedown of this uh, kind of bigger job. We already took down a few tents. So we decided to just make a video with a couple tips, three tips for uh, taking down marquee tents. So when you're loading these things, this is my favorite way of doing it. These couplers first, they're also known as joiners. Okay, so I like to put those in first. Oh, we have one more over here. Hold on. So whether it's 20 by 30, 20 by 20, or 20 by 40, and for the 20 by 30s, 20 by 40s, you'll have these things, right? And I like to put them in next, like that. And then lastly, I like to put in the corner pieces. Or I guess almost lastly, Chris, we still have the wall wires and the diagonal wires. And those are last. So that's my favorite way of loading a uh, marquee box. It's the easiest to get out afterwards, you know. I guess I would get the wires out first. If you had the wires in first, they'll get twisted up in the actual pieces. Wires last is the best and then everything else. Um, that, that's my favorite way. So with tarps, I've seen some of you put your tarps on the ground. Well, some of you don't use tarps. Some of you put the tarps on the ground, but what we do is we put the tarps on the actual wires. Because this tent top, it can, get beat, it can really get damaged on these wires. These are metal wires, sometimes they fray. Sometimes the tarp goes like this and you're pulling it out and that leaves a mark on the tarp or completely rip it. Um, this is actually a slightly undersized tarp, but what we do is, and I'll do this on my own here, as we uh, pull this top off, we put the tarp on. Again, this is slightly undersized. Usually there's two people, one person kind of moving the tarp and one person grabbing the top. Now the top two, sometimes there's sharp bolts or the actual clip. It can damage the tent slightly as well. So what I like to do is just gently put it down and then take it out like that without it really scuffing up the, the tent top too much. And then after that, before the tent top completely goes down, you want to pull that tarp up. Now you see it's, it's almost fully protected, that tent top. As soon as these legs are down, the tent top comes down. Well, we have the tarp above the ground and above these wires. So uh, that's a quick tip when tarping your frame tents. That's what we do and uh, it seems to keep these ten tops in peak condition for a bit longer. Okay, last tip that I've seen for... I don't know. These, these, these are... I mean, these might be tips for you. They might not be. Maybe you do something different. This is a 20 by 20. Actually, there's three 20 by 20s, but we actually forgot the lifting tool or the jacks, so let's go do it by hand here momentarily. But when you're lifting these up, I've, I've seen people do this uh we for our people for our crew uh we tell them uh not to go on the inside and lift from the inside because god forbid something happens like this falls um and the pipe hits you on the head if you're on the outside 
it's less likely to bonk you. You can kind of step away quickly if something weird's going on. So um, always lift. Always lift from the. Uh, always lift from the outside, and that way you're not gonna get bonked on the head. I don't like dropping it, but usually hand it over. But it's just me and the cameraman here, so normally don't just drop it on the ground. Mind you, this isn't hard. It's uh, soft. But again, lift from the outside. Make sure people aren't on the inside. Same goes if you're using a tool or jack. Hey, thanks for watching. If you guys have any marquee tips that you want to share, leave them in the comments. And uh, wishing you the best of luck in all your tent setups.